it time for Netflix recommendations. I'm trying to be extra quiet because my sister's sleeping next door. <laughs> Guys, this has been a really requested video. I basically shared some recommendations on my Instagram stories and so many of you wanted more and really liked the recommendations that I gave you guys and so here I am filming this video basically. Um, I just want to mention that I'm no like film expert. I just really enjoy watching films. I've watched so much on Netflix. I watch on the train to work, I watch on the train back home. I always have Netflix playing in the background. Now I'm just going to basically give you some recommendations. I'm not going to go too in depth in them. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. I just like saying what it's basically about and why I like it. And yeah, I'm just going to do that. But please bear in mind I'm no expert, okay? It was extremely hard to choose shows that I really like. So I've got a lot of series and a couple of films that really stood out to me. I just want to start off with the show I'm currently watching and it is The Last Kingdom. It's currently number nine in the UK today. Main character Alexander Draymond is a really good actor, like it's insane. Another quick note, I'm so bad at remembering actor and actresses names. I'm going to make it a goal of mine to actually remember names because if I was an actor I would want people to remember my name right so I should do it the whole series is set up in England and it's giving me major Game of Thrones vibes like if you loved Game of Thrones you need to watch the series there are a ton of battles there are a ton of fighting scenes it's really gory there are some inappropriate scenes it's 18 plus guys but it's good it is good I I'm on series 2 episode 6 now and there's four series and my brother's been loving it as well and who's also a huge Game of Thrones fan. So yeah, we're both liking The Last Kingdom. It's really good. I just feel like you guys should watch it. I hope I explained that one well. The next one is The Haunting of Hill House. Now, I watched this ages ago. Uh, there's only series one out. I don't know why there's only one series out. It's definitely more horror thriller. Um, more, more thrill I would say and basically a bunch of brothers and sisters reunite for a reason and just it just gets really scary and there's like little scenes where like you don't notice something's there and then you look back and you're like oh my god that thing was there the whole time like it's crazy and I remember when this came out there were so many YouTube videos on like all these scenes that we didn't realize something was just like standing right there it's insane so definitely recommend that one and by the way my favorite genre is like horror thriller I would watch any horror or thriller film out there because it's just my favorite thing ever i love being at the edge of my seat throughout a film the next one i would like to recommend is black mirror now black mirror is definitely a peculiar one every episode focuses on a different story but every story is so weird and so insane it just scares you about the future and what it could be how far technology has come and how it can also be used in the wrong way i feel like so interesting it's really inappropriate at times but it's really good guys it's really good i wasn't too keen on the last series series five where there was an episode with with miley cyrus although i didn't mind that episode actually actually no i'm lying i did kind of like series five but you've got five series it's a ton of episodes um but if you like horror thriller scary weird shit then you're like black mirror the next show that i really did like was the crown this really looks at the journey of queen elizabeth ii uh who played Claire Foy actually plays her role um, and Matt Smith plays Philip um, who's Queen Elizabeth II's husband and uh, I love Claire Foy like she's an amazing actress and I'm not a big fan of history but I just thoroughly enjoyed this show I didn't really like the last one because they removed Claire Foy from it which I understand because they're trying to imitate um, Queen Elizabeth getting older so they just chose an, an older actress but I just feel like they could have kept um, Claire Foy and just made her look a bit older like with special effects I don't know but I just didn't really like the last series and it really starts from the beginning when Queen Elizabeth ascended to the throne after her father died um, and she took the throne quite young so it was just quite interesting to see like all the the issues she had to go through politically and romantically with her husband it's just amazing so I really recommend it I'm going to put this one in here because I did really enjoy this series and that is you. So Penn Badgley in this um, series plays a really crazy sick dude like it is insane like kind of scary. I'm not going to say much on it but it's intense and my mum loved it. My mum like binge watched it in one go 
and it's just one that you should add to your watching list. Another one I really did find interesting was 13 Reasons Why. It's about a boy Clay Jensen who tries to get to the root of why his friend Hannah committed suicide and it is intense. It just shows the effects that bullying can have on someone and it really hit hard with me especially for the first season. I was bawling. I feel like it's quite educational because it really opens your eyes to how your actions and your words can really affect someone else so yeah the next one that i really like actually came out this year and it's called lock and key and um, this one really was nostalgic because it just reminded me of like the shows i used to watch when i was little but it's like really magical and kind of like sci-fi-ish it's about three kids and their father was murdered it's it's this is not a spoiler like it's in the description okay so the three kids and the mum actually moved to their ancestral home and then they discover that these keys lie around and it kind of connects them to their dad and they're kind of magical but the show's really good. Got 7.4 out of 10 on IMDb. Oh my god this one you guys need to watch is the most hilarious thing ever but very like sexual and kind of educational as well I feel like um, and that is sex education. Oh my god the most funniest thing I've ever watched and I don't really go for like funny shows and series. I know I'm a bit weird I like dark dark shows. Absolutely loved Asa Butterfield in there. Also Nkuti Gatwa. I hope I'm pronouncing that well but oh my god he was my favourite throughout the whole show. He's hilarious. He's such a good actor. It's actually about a teenage boy and his mom's a sex therapist and he just goes through normal teenage stuff I feel like and then actually decides to do like an underground sex therapist kind of thing at school himself with his friends it's really interesting guys trust me you need to watch it i'm trying to do 10 series and 10 show uh, films and this is so hard i really have to include narcos because not only do i really love um spanish um series this one actually first focuses on the colombian drug lord pablo escobar kind of glorifies being a drug lord but we have to remember these people were awful people but during the series you kind of feel bad for Pablo, Pablo. like you kind of you, you want him to get out of the situation but he killed so many people so why the hell do I feel like that I don't know the other series actually focuses on other drug lords that um kind of took over the country as well throughout the years so yeah it's definitely really good the next one is money heist i recently finished money heist with my husband and we both absolutely loved it it is so good my favorite person in it is definitely nairobi and also like the professor as well but then i also like the El inspector and yeah it's just a really good um series i wish i could speak spanish i swear i wish i could speak spanish but it's basically about a group of people that come together and decide to um hijack like a bank like the national monetary bank of spain i think and it goes crazy like it's insane but yeah it's really good guys i can't hype that one enough it's definitely in my top three at the moment i've actually done 10 so far but i think i'm gonna do another three another one i really liked was um atypical atypical is really light-hearted it's about a boy called sam who's on the spectrum and it just shows his life and his journey and how he gets through things and you just want all of them and his sister like to just do well in life and just you just wish them the best then so you just follow them on their journey and things that life can throw at you it's really light-hearted but i love that show the next one is the witcher which is kind of like sci-fi-ish not a lot of people liked it but i really really love the witcher did i understand it sometimes not really because i know sometimes it goes back in time and then it comes back to the future and then it's and then to the present and I just was confused overall i did really like it i really did enjoy it like when i was watching it i had to be sat down and i needed to focus on it so it's about gerald of rivia who's a monster hunter it's the description says he struggles to find his place in a world where people often prove more wicked than beasts he just fights a bunch of monsters and it's super cool the fighting scenes are so like good like really good um but it was a while back since i watched this but it's got an 8.3 on imdb and it's Trust me, it's good. The final series that I'm gonna recommend is The Sinner. The Sinner is a really good series. It's about an investigator who investigates, clearly. He tries to find out what ha what happened and what led to a specific criminal scene. 
I guess that's the best way to explain it. Definitely very intense, um, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. And if you like like crime genres and stuff like that, you'll like this one. Okay, that was 13 series that I recommended. So now on to films. Like I said, I do like thrillers. And one film that really stood out to me is Hush. Now Hush is about a woman who is deaf and she decided to go live in the middle of nowhere in the woods for some reason and some guy tries to kill her basically and she's deaf so it's 10 times harder for her to get away from this dude and it's just like the whole throughout the whole film you're just like like please just get out of there. A 9 out of 10 for me. That film is really good. A Quiet Place is also another film I really, really enjoyed. I know the second one was supposed to come out this year. I don't know when they're going to release it. Um, and I love that the two main characters, the husband and wife, are actually husband and wife in real life. It's got Emily Blunt, who is gorgeous, by the way, and John Krasinski. I love that they're married. Um, but the show is basically where monsters take over the world and you literally can't make the sound, otherwise they come and kill you. I also really enjoyed two the bone which really shows the struggles um that someone who's anorexic can go through and it's, it was really hard to watch but it was a good watch and i definitely recommend that one i recently watched becoming which is kind of like a docu film a documentary on the former first lady of the united states michelle obama it just looks at her life and her hopes and she also had her daughters in there and what it was like being the former lady of the United States, like it's insane and so, so, so inspirational, so motivating, uplifting and I just feel like th that documentary will help so many, especially younger girls out there and young girls of colour as well. So definitely one to watch another one that you guys need to watch is unbroken who was actually directed by angelina jolie and i think that's what really made me want to watch the film first this to me personally is a really good film it's about a guy called lewis who was a u.s olympic track record holder and then he ends up fighting for the second world war and then ends up as a war prisoner and it just shows his journey and all the struggles he went through and it's insane and i really 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 did enjoy that film it's got a ton of nominations it's got 7.2 on imdb um and i definitely would um, recommend it another one that we watched uh, recently and it actually came out this year is uncut gems this has got adam sandler in it and i love adam sandler films he's such a good actor um, but he plays a totally different type i always see him in happy funny films but they, he's totally different in this his acting is insane it's about a guy who's just addicted to gambling and just builds up debt like crazy it's kind of stressful but it just shows like how tough it is like the struggles of when you have that addiction and then the final one is called annihilation which is what i watched a while back but i remember it as a cool film it's definitely more sci-fi it's got a 6.9 and it's a sci-fi adventure films i feel like sci-fi or thriller or horror films normally range between five to eight if a horror film has like seven or eight rating that means it's a really good horror film there's basically this area called area x and this uh, biologist and former soldier um joins a mission to uncover what happened to her husband inside this air specific area there's weird stuff that goes on in that area like scary sci-fi-ish stuff i'm someone that really likes avatar so it kind of gave me that vibe a little bit but yeah, I, I I would recommend it. Okay, so that's 20 um, films and series that you can watch on Netflix. Um, I know during these times, a lot of you guys are doing that, binge watching and just looking for stuff to watch. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you do like any of the recommendations that I've given, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see a part two to this, because I've got so many other recommendations to give, I could just blabber on about films all day long. And um, give this video a big like so that I know to do a, another one. And yeah, I'm going to head off now thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video